How we doing? Whoa, whoa, <laughs> I'm outnumbered. How are you doing, Eddie? How are you doing? Nice to how you doing? All right. How you doing? Shannon. How you doing, Shannon? You all right, mate? How are you? All right, Joe. Come in here. Come in here. Cool, cool. We need a bit more space. Cool. Let's get a couple of chairs in. Okay, grab a couple of chairs, guys. How you doing, Danny? I'm doing very well, mate. Enjoying watching your stuff. I appreciate you. Appreciate it. Looking well. Thank you, Shannon. Thank you. You know, the funny thing is, is that it's funny how life plays out because. You know you got my direct message on Twitter. Yes, that was a while ago. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yes. Well, obviously you didn't and see you know, it. I didn't see it, right? No, yeah. because I wanted you to fight Anthony Joshua oh, on April the 9th. Right? Get out of here. So I was looking at loads of different opponents, right. you know, uh, Jennings, uh, Stiverne, Malik Scott. Right. And I, I sent you a direct message. Yeah. I thought Shannon Briggs, that would be interesting. That'd be great. But you're a dangerous motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> I spoke to a few people, I was like, Joshua against Shannon Briggs, and they went, Oh, you know, I spoke to Greg Cohen. Oh, right? well, I know he used to work with you. Yeah, right? yeah, right, right. I know, yeah. And he said, uh, he said, wow, yeah, good fight. He went, you know, he's dangerous. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, yeah, oh. Yeah. So you never got back to me, and then we ended up fighting for the World Heavyweight title. That's right. That's so right. So it all works out. Have a seat, guys. Oh, well, we've got a seat. Do you want teas or coffees? Uh, whatever you think. Yeah. Coffee. Coffee will work for me, though. Keep me started. What are you gonna do? What are you gonna interview this whole meeting? No, no, no. Just wanted to have a cup of coffee. <laughs> Just wanted the initial right. meet between the cannon and the, and the Hearn. It's the champ, Shannon the Cannon. I'm here with Eddie Hearns at Matchroom Boxing Sports. It's about to go down, champ. Let's go, champ. I think there's gonna come a point where we have to turn this camera off. <laughs> we can do another one later after we've had a chat. Yeah, we will. Yeah, All right. We will. All right. Well, listen. Enjoy your meeting. Well, you got a proud setup here. Yes, yeah, all right. Well, I, I mean, I have to tell you that, um, you see, I came from a very underprivileged background. <laughs> this was my house. Wow, wow. Yeah. Yeah. So as every fighter that comes in, I tell them, you know, oh, I'm from the streets too. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So, um, yeah, my, we moved here. Uh, my dad's from, from East London. And we moved here. This was like his first house that he bought when he done very well for himself. Wow. And, um, we turned it into offices about seven or eight years ago. So we were in London, we were in Bromford, but we've got a gym in there, pool, you know, where the fighters come in and train as well. Nice. Also got a big gym, probably a mile away as well, yeah. where uh, Joshua trains at sometimes, nice. splits his time between there and Sheffield. And uh, yeah, we, you know, my dad promoted boxing like yeah. 20 years ago, yeah. up until about probably seven or eight years ago, and uh, got tired of it. Uh, tired of the bullshit, so started making some easier money, and then we went back into boxing about four or five years ago. Started promoting. All right, Karen, come in. Coffee. Yeah, what was everyone want? I put coffee. Coffee, yeah. yeah. Cream, a lot of sugar. Heavy cream, heavy sugar. It's funny you do milk here, Shannon. We don't do cream. Yeah. <laughs> 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 we'll have a couple of goats out there, we can go and talk about Water or tea with yours? Do you want tea? Tea would be fine. Tea, yeah. Take water as well, please. And water, yeah? Yes. Throw your water. Yes, please. Mm. Water would be great. Oh, matter of fact, um, you, you, uh, Don King got a set up like this. Is he? Uh, he had a camp is it? outside of Cleveland. Yeah, yeah. With a big home um, and he's uh, a lot of Amish people who drive really? the horse and buggies. Really? Yeah, uh -huh. yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like this, but you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. Well, we started promoting again properly about four years ago. Okay. I was actually. I was playing poker. I, I, I run, was running a lot of the online televised poker and I was involved with online gaming. And I was sitting at a World Series of Poker mm -hmm. and uh, sat down at my table. There was like 6,000 people playing. And sat down at my table and Audley Harrison sat down at my table. He was playing poker at the time. And I was running something called Prize Fighter. I don't know if you remember it. I think you were doing it. It's like a knockout tournament one night. And Audley was sort of living in LA and he said, you know, could you? He said, could you get me a four or six round? I was like, I said, no, but I'll tell you what you can do. You can go into heavyweight price fighter. Mm. And he went, oh, I don't know, you know, it's a bit of a funny format. I said, the funny format? I said, it's your only format. Mm. I said, three rounds. I said, you're, you're virtually unbeatable. Mm. I said, you win that, I'll get you a European title shot, then we'll fight David Hay. Mm. Right? I had no idea what I was doing. Right. Right? I phoned my dad about an hour later and I said, look, just let you know, I spoke to Audley Harrison mm -hmm. and uh, you know, I think I can work with him. Mm -hmm. He went, let me tell you something there. 
He said, you're on your own. <laughs> he said, I am never ever working with Audley Harrison. Mm. Like, he said, because Audley Harrison was everything that my dad don't like about boxing, mm. was fighters trying to take control of, of their business, mm. trying to take control of their broadcaster, do everything on their own. Mm. He believes fighters fight, mm. businessmen do look after the business side. So anyway, Audley Harrison came over for Price Fighter. We had 7,000 people at the XL. He won the Price Fighter tournament. I got him a European title shot. He knocked out Michael Sprott in the last round. He was, he was dead in the fight. He was six rounds behind. Mm -hmm. Then I got him the fight with David Hay. Mm -hmm. wow. And it was the most embarrassing night of my life. Mm -hmm. yeah. he, was, he froze completely. Mm -hmm. He didn't throw a punch. And then he got taken out in three rounds. Wow. So I left the arena with everyone shouting at me, mm -hmm. telling me I was a joke. Mm -hmm. you're, a, you're a shit promoter. And the next day, my phone didn't stop ringing from fighters saying, wow. I see what you've done with Audley Harrison. Can you do that with me? Sure, so we sure. signed Darren Barker, Kel Brook, Carl Froch, mm -hmm. all within like a month. And then we took total exclusivity of Sky Sports, which is where you were yesterday. Yeah, yeah. 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 So we, we are their exclusive promoter on Sky Sports, 24 dates a year, mm -hmm. uh, and their pay-per-view as well, offering, which is great. Yeah. Um, multiple world champions now, and of course, Anthony Joshua has come through and he's just, an absolute sensation. Everything that he does, his pay-per-view numbers, his gate receipt numbers, you know, his his numbers on a digital platform from Sky, the dot com site, just phenomenal. No. And, and now he fights Charles Martin no. on April 9th. But it's it's uh, it's much too early for him right. to change for the world title. But it's the fight. That's right. You know, it's Charles That's Martin. So the answer we are when we sat down with the team, we said, I said I can deliver you a world title fight. Training team sort of said, well, you know, we've had 15 fights. And I said, yeah, but all you have to tell me is, can you beat Charles Martin? Mm. And they said, yeah, I think we can. So then you have to take this fight. Yeah. In your backyard, you know, the world heavyweight champion, yeah. chance to become the world heavyweight champion. Yeah. So he's looking sensational. He's up in Sheffield sparring yesterday. And um, it's a big night for us. Nice. You know what, uh, what, you, what you have done is uh, what you call rising to the occasion. Mm. He, he already has the audience, mm. and a fighter don't become a great fighter until he in front of something that brings him to a yeah. higher level. Yeah. Yeah. Shannon Briggs is that type of guy. Mm. Any arena, he got a mouthpiece that'll sell any arena. Yeah. We went to uh, Germany, mm. and I mean, the press conference was over five to 10,000 people. Mm. So when you can draw the magnitude of that, you can go anywhere and sell. Yeah. And everybody can't do that. Well, I can't make out of you. What's that, Shannon? What do you want? You know, because I don't know whether you want to fight, whether you just love all this. I don't know whether all you, of that. I don't know where you've got all the money. You've got no money. You want the money. You know what I mean? Right, right. It's like it's such a crazy right. setup because yeah. part of me thinks, you know, how much, how hungry are you to fight? Are you just looking for the big one? You know, because the response that you've had since you've been here has been fantastic. You know, I start thinking to myself, you know, what well, we could do something over here. Let's do it. But what you know? What do you? Want? I, I want to say one thing that he can speak on behalf of. We are looking for big boxing. We're not looking for uh, fights that uh, ordinary fights. Mm. We're looking for fights at the biggest place because this guy is ready to go on tour to mm. sell out any place that you have. Mm. Fit the side. We will fill it. Mm. Mm. That's the type of situation we look. Yeah, I'm looking for you know you're the man here, of course. We know that. Um, I'm looking for maybe you know, something. Here in the UK, mm -hmm. you promote me here in the UK. Um, keep me busy, keep me fighting. If uh, Joshua wins, mm -hmm. we could do Wembley yeah. this summer. Yeah. Well, there's so many fights here in the UK. I mean, look, you've got David Hay, who I'll take it, you're not fighting next. Yeah, he called that. Yeah, yeah, of course he did. He called everyone. Yeah, he called that. But night. he can't afford you. No. You know. Right. Mm -hmm. You've got to have big money to afford Shannon Briggs. Right. You know. Yeah. So you got David Hado is you know a big option for you. You got Anthony Joshua. You got yeah. Tyson Fury. Yeah. You know, and then you got the guys underneath who are doing well. Dylan White, yeah. Derek Chisora, about yeah. to fight for the European title. <laughs> so you know, it's just interesting to look at the landscape and say, you you can wait. You know, my advice is to get active in the market. Mm -hmm. You know, because although you have a big following, it's still a boxing related following. Right. You know, because in you know, his fans are hardcore boxing fans. Right. Huge numbers. I don't know how he did it. 
He hasn't got a clue what he's doing. You know, he just turned up with a camera and he started getting all these views, you know. But what you need to do is, and, and where, the place where you were yesterday, which I call a dream factory, that? which is Sky Sports, okay, you know, so or, or the day before I think, yeah, that is the place where you can become a superstar because they loved you in the building. Right. You know, you've got great energy. But, you know, my advice would, would be to be, and this is a conversation off the camera eventually, <laughs> is get into, you know, let's, let's get active. Right. You know, and let's build towards those big fights because we have to tell the story. You know, we, we, a lot of people know the Shannon Briggs story, but we want the whole country to know the Shannon Briggs story, not just boxing fans. Right. You know, you've got the ability and a personality to do that and to sell that, but let's have some fights. You know, let's, let's, let's box, because you're not gonna, you know, if Joshua wins on April 9th, he box in July. Will he box you? Maybe, maybe. But will he box you, if it does, over a million pay-per-view buys? Yes, is the answer. You know, and that, that is easily achievable with a, a personality and a fighter like you. Mm -hmm. That's right. So there's loads of domestic British heavyweights that I could show you that you'd look at and go, yeah. You know, and I, I think I think this this should be your market. You know, I don't think when I mean, you've done some stuff in America, I know you boxed in Turkey. Was it? No, where was it you boxed? It was a bit Panama. Yeah, that was a bit bizarre. Yeah. Yeah. We're on a world tour, Chad. Yeah, I know, I know. We're on a world tour. Tour. It's great being on a world tour, you just got to make sure you get paid exactly. to be on that world tour. Exactly. Not to go to territories that are a waste of time. I heard you have a show with the Scotland coming up. May the 28th, yeah, it could be an option for you. Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Be perfect. Well, we got, we got May the 7th in Manchester, we got May the 20th. But eventually, when we have a discussion, it's, everything comes down to money, as right. you know. Right. You know, how much, it's a case of how much you want. That's right. Do we want a box every couple of weeks? Right. You know, or do we want, you know, I can offer you anything you want, I've got 24 dates a year. Mm -hmm. so if you just want the big fights, yeah, I'll look for a big fight for you. If you want to say, no, I would like to box May the 7th, May the 28th, you know. That's not a problem, we can achieve that as well. Some smaller fights. Yeah, if you want in June, no, was June in Scotland? May the 28th. That's, that's Scotland, Scotland. Yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. June the 4th is in Liverpool. Okay. Um, May the 7th is in Manchester, and then, End of June, early July, if Joshua wins, will be Joshua again. But we're going like two or three times a month. So, you know, you could, again, it's just a case of, it's looking at the strategy. Right, right, right. Getting it, you know, it's, it's just, you know, you've got, you can be as active as you want right. over here. But it's just a case of looking at the fights. And, and listen, the heavyweight division is so hot. Mm -hmm. Sky are loving the heavyweight division. I mean, they actually said to me the other day, we'd like a heavyweight fight on every card wow. that you do. Nice. Because all of a sudden it's like, you know, Tyson Fury. Are you against Tyson Fury? He's a massive personality wise. Right. You know, you Joshua Joshua is desperate. Did well, you make that fight? Yeah, but again, it's how big we build the fight. Right. At the moment the fight is this big, big. In six months' time it could be to the ceiling. Karen, can I get a coffee with one sugar? Oh, has he done it? I think he done it. Um But again, you build you the right way while staying active, whilst earning money. And you get bigger and bigger and bigger, and those fights become bigger and bigger and bigger. You are dangerous. You know, it's not like these heavyweights look at Shannon Briggs and go, "That's a good fight. He's mouthy and he can't fight. He's shot." Because we know you're not. We know you're dangerous. Right. So there's got to be big money That's in the fights as well. You see, I like you, Eddie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so there's people saying I'm full of bullshit and are smart. That's you know, but on a serious note, Joshua, like Joshua, you need the characters to blend. The sport Sorry. is all about characters and personalities. That's, that's how you make big bucks. Exactly. Anthony Joshua is, like if you came into the gym to Anthony Joshua mm -hmm. and went up to him and went, yeah, let's go champ, and got in his face, mm -hmm. he couldn't stop, he'd laugh. Because like, he, that's the kind of character he is, yeah? He'd go, ah, I can't believe it's Shannon Briggs, love. And you'd go, no, 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 come on. Yeah. Mess it up. And he, he, you know, so like Dylan White, when he boxed him, he was in his face and he didn't really, you know, he just, right, right, right. like Tyson, would might play the game, get a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, mm -hmm. David Hay, I don't think David Hay would like you in his space. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because again, he's, oh, 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 you know, whereas Tyson would just be fucking yeah, yeah. oh, let's go now, yeah, come on. Go. Yeah, you know, yeah. but everyone's different, but you need the personalities to blend. Definitely. But we need to find those, you know, and Joshua is, until he gets to where he think, like he would never call anyone out, right. Joshua. He's that kind of, he says, I have to, I have to achieve something and start calling people that. Mm -hmm. He's quite a humble kid, you know, like he says, I don't want to start. He sees you, you know, like he called me last night, he's, he's just got back from Sheffield. 
And he said, oh, I want to, like, really want to meet him. I watch him all the time, he's like a fan. Yeah. You know, so I said, well, you know, what are you going to do when he looks at you and says, let's go? He said, I'll just start laughing. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. So, but he will, uh, he'll come and, I think he's going to try and catch up with you this weekend. Okay. But you'll like him a lot. I mean, okay. he's a lovely, lovely kid, you know? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And, uh, you know, but the other guys, but he's so easy to get in the mix. And like I said, Dillian White, Derek Chisora, you know, all these guys, Huey Fury, there's, there's, there's different levels. Right, right. You know? So I think once we, you're over for a couple of weeks, aren't you? Is that right? I, I came on one way. Yeah, did you? I'm looking for is a that flat, a part we call a flat, yeah. an apartment. Is that allowed? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah I'm ready. You know, um, based on Shannon, these guys here, if we fight, we need to, like you said, put a schedule together. Yeah. Okay. Shannon, maybe like May or June, in a May, June, mm -hmm. great for first mm -hmm. fight. Mm -hmm. I mean, well, they love you in Scotland. You know, yeah. they're absolutely mental in Scotland. Yeah. Like, I took Joshua up there, I never been and we played. You probably don't know the song. It's called "We Would Walk a Thousand Miles." Mm. You know, I would walk mm. five hundred, no, five hundred miles, five, yeah. and it's the Proclaimers, which is a Scottish song. Mm. So I said to Anthony Joshua, right, big six foot five, likes his hip hop and rap music. Mm. You need to come out to the Proclaimers. Right. Five, he looked at me. He's like, "What?" I played it. There was 9,000 people in there on their feet. Wow. He became a hero. Wow. Yeah, we'll do that with you as well. That's but they, they love it. You know, that's, that's something that you yeah. know, they, yeah. they would uh, like. You know how to market. I like yeah. 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 But, but that's, you know, that's the key. Yeah. Because too many, fight, too many promoters out there, I mean, we've, be, we've got to the top very easily in this, in, in this market. Right. One, because I think we're good. And two, because the rest are very poor okay. or average at best. Right, so it's not difficult for us, but you got to tell the story. That's all you got to do, well, and same, you need yeah. the platform. That's it. And we have a great platform, this guy. So it's, that's half the battle as a promoter. But you know, again, once we we start talking, you know, I'll have a think about the numbers, and we just turn around and say, right, let's put a little schedule together. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. who do we want to fight? Don't want complete numbers, but right. listen, if the money ain't huge, we ain't getting him in no wars. That's right. You know, so but I think it's a lot of fun. I think I think you'd be surprised. You know, before too long, guys like David Hay and Tyson, they'll be looking for you. For you. Yeah. you know, it won't be a case of you turning up at Buckingham Palace calling for them. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> they'll, they'll, be, they'll be looking for your phone number because yeah. they know your pay-per-view gold. For sure. You know, yeah. so. and what we want to do is we want to basically, uh, as you see, we're building a team out here in the mm. UK. Uh, uh, you've, got bigger, you've got more employees than me. <laughs> <laughs> so who is everyone? So Angela. Angela. Joe. 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 What do you do, Joe? I've been doing all the liaising, phones, Sky Sports, getting Box Nation sorted out. Right, okay. So he, he put this together. He, okay. he also is making a video game. Okay. Yeah. Right, let's go. I met him over two years ago. Right? Yeah. He called me one you're day. Based, you're based in the UK or America? Yeah, tell me how you met me. Tell me how you met me. Twitter. Really? Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Direct message him. Let's do a game. Yeah, phone me back. Yeah. 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 We've been talking for two years. Yeah. yeah. So I said, I'm coming over there to do a tour. I'm going to fight everywhere Ireland, Scotland, Wales, England. Yeah. You know, we've been working on it, so I'm, I'm here now. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Let's go, chat. Mark? Yeah, um, I live in Bournemouth. Uh, I've got a security company. And I've been I would never have guessed that. <laughs> <laughs> Same <laughs> thing. Oh, don't worry, don't worry. Yeah. Yeah. No, don't worry. I've got yeah. a little button under here that says <laughs> yeah. 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 a whole yeah. fucking yeah. army. Um, um, <laughs> yeah, I've been shouting a few times. I was in the States last year and chatting to him and he said, you know, you should come to England. Yeah. And, uh, and it was kind of, and it happened. And yeah. Just been helping him out really with transportation, whatever he needs. Yeah. If I can help, I help him. Press I just love being involved with it. Press you know, it. yeah. It was published to Christian, I, I actually know Shannon through Angela. I'm actually a commercial manager of a construction company. Okay. So, but I'm trying to get Shannon over to India, funny enough. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's got big ties in India, so. Yeah. You gotta go over to India and do some stuff too. Yeah. This is a world tour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's coming to Bournemouth tomorrow. So yeah, it's it's Bournemouth. Some... Well, if it's a world tour, you gotta go to Bournemouth. You gotta go to Bournemouth. You can't miss that one. Yeah. 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 We're going everywhere, you know, Delhi, yeah. London, yeah. Exactly. New Bournemouth. York, Bournemouth. <laughs> 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 Well, I, I'd say this, if we go to Scotland, you're going to have the straight and backpipe oh, yeah, ready yeah, for Shannon, right? Because yeah, yeah, yeah. he, yeah, he yeah. know how to do this. Yeah, 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 as long yeah. as it's politically correct, uh, we don't want to cause no problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. no, fine. Absolutely fine. Yeah. You, the, the, the British fight fans would embrace you. Yeah. Whereas, see, the problem I've always find in America is, I, go, I take a fighter out there to fight in America, and I'm sitting in the venue, and I'm like, where the fuck's the noise? Mm -hmm. Where's the energy? There Where's the people? There you go. And the answer is, there's no community. Like, 
If you box, if you were from Manchester, right, and you boxed in London, and you're a big name, you take a couple of thousand people from Manchester, mm -hmm. right, and you're one of their guys, right? right? So, like for instance, I did Adrian Broner against Gavin Reese in Atlantic City, right? Mm -hmm. If they sold 500 tickets, I'd be I'd be astonished. And they, all, all it was was casino comps, right? right? But casino comps are no good. That's true. Because what do they know? Mm -hmm. They just turn up the gods. They don't even know Adrian. You need passion, and that's what I'm saying about Scotland. Right. Mm -hmm. They stand up on their chair. They take their shirt off. They swing it around their head. Yeah, I gotta go that's on. what you want to see. <laughs> that's what I got to go. Yeah, I gotta go. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's that's for me. I'm working with Don. That's for the chair. Okay, <laughs> yeah. Every time an uh, English fighter came to Vegas. Half of the crowd was English. Exactly. Yeah. But the passion, they, you know, they can't. Look, everybody. listen, look where Hatton Hatton was a one off. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. But look at that, that's passion. That's right. That's energy. That's that right. comes across on the TV screen. That's right. But when you're in America, like, why doesn't Adrian Broner, well, probably because he's not the nicest. You know, <laughs> but, yeah, but someone, I mean, anyone, why don't they have five or six hundred people coming from Cincinnati that's right. to watch him fight? That's how it should be. That's how it'd be if it was in this country. Right. There's no territory, there's no community, there's no passion. No. That's true. So the atmosphere, only very few fights in America get the atmosphere. Well, the truth of the matter is a lot of fighters, especially black fighters, don't cross over to white fans. A mm. lot of them don't. Mm. I've been fortunate because I have, I have a strong Caucasian base in America yeah. from my early amateur days to even pro 1992. Mm. So when I fight in America, a lot of black and white yeah. and Spanish everyone come in. As you see, I, I promote and market myself to everyone, yeah, yeah, every yeah. race, yeah. you know? I think one thing that struck me, and actually we've changed the market here for, for boxing fans. It used to be, you know, your traditional working class man, turn up at a boxing, couple of pints. Now, there's a lot of women come to the fights. Everyone's dressed up, right? Mm -hmm. right? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. But I think what happens is, is the women, we do the same thing for the darts. You might not know the darts, but darts is huge here. And what happened was, once the guys started dressing up and making a night of it, and mm -hmm. the women saw it on TV and said, there's a lot of men in there. Mm -hmm. There's a lot of drunk men having a good time. And they're quite <laughs> smart as well. Mm -hmm. So they started coming as well. <laughs> and, and now we, we, you know, we do market to the casual fans. And we get a lot of criticism from the hardcore boxing fans. Right. But you have to to be successful. You have right. to reach that market. But one thing I, I'll never forget, I was in Vegas was about two or three years ago. And I went on Friday night, there was a fight. And on the Saturday night, there was a UFC fight. Mm -hmm. And I went to the boxing on a Friday night. And I was sitting down. And I was sitting next to a man. When he was taking out about two seats, he had a belly out here. He had popcorn. Like this, right? And then after about half an hour, he fell asleep. Wow. Right? And I looked at him, I thought, and I looked around, and there was a lot of similar people. Wow. And then I went to the UFC night, the, other, the night after, Sick. and everyone was doled up to the nine suit, yeah. women, tight dresses, loud music. It's a completely, completely different audience, different market, and that's the problem with boxing mm -hmm. in America. Is it's lost its desire, it's lost its Hollywood feel. Right. You now, one thing we're trying to do, like when you, if you say so if you're boxing, I mean, you might be here for April the ninth anyway I'm for Josh. Yeah, yeah, mate, you wait till you see it. Yeah. You will not believe it. It will blow. Yeah, I want to talk to you about that as well because maybe we could talk about doing some um, commentary. Yeah, definitely for Sky. Yeah, yeah no, they'd Sky. love to have you on that. That'd they'd love great. to have you on that. I mean, all week there's going to be stuff going on. So you know, yeah. but, the answer to what you've been talking about, there's no hate. No hype. No hype. No, of course. Shannon, Shannon make more no. hype. Listen, when we went to Germany with, with Klitschko, yeah. it was so much hype. Mm. Everybody was going. Do you know that's my favorite word? Yeah, hype. hype. <laughs> <laughs> that's what it's what, that's what, that's about, Chad. Hype, yeah. hype is Let's one. go, Chad. Because you know what? You get the people to the arena yeah. to see some action. Of course. That's what and that's what uh, Floyd Mayweather mm. packed it up. Yeah. I did a, I did they, a, sold, they sold the rooms yeah. triple the price yeah. because of the hype. Yeah. And people don't know. I, I, it was, was sold out for just hype. And when the fight was over, I know they had ripped everybody up yeah, yeah. on hype. Yeah. That's it. Well, we fight don't do, too late. Yeah, we don't yeah. do too much of the ripping off, but yeah. especially not when he's yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But, but um, I did a, a, I spoke at a sports conference in the week, and they right. said, you know, what's the secret to the success of what's happened to boxing? Right. And I said, hype mm. and perception. That's right. Perception is key. You need to perceive this event is huge. Right. Now you get situations where if there's a good event, average event, mm -hmm. the fight fan will say, I'll leave that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll wait for the big one. Mm 
That's right. You know, and a big one, Anthony Joshua, you know, you go on sale, 90 seconds. We sold all it. We sold out the arena. Seventeen thousand. Yeah, we could have sold sixty thousand tickets. That's it. But it's the hot ticket you must have. It's right. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory. That's right. The golden ticket. Everyone that's, that's right. sitting there now that's has right. got their ticket, and it's probably under their bed. Eddie Hearns, let's go chat. Eddie Hearns, let's go chat. Yeah, I like the way you talk, Eddie. Hearns, <laughs> let's go yeah, I like the way you talk, Eddie. <laughs> Eddie, we talked to uh, Coogan about, um, which we already have over two hundred hours yeah. of footage. Mm from the last three and a half years, dating back to my amateur mm -hmm. days, that we're putting together a series. We've been approached by different people, mm -hmm. Netflix, uh, Jesse has a guy at home who has access to 40 million, I'm sorry, 80 million cell phone devices. Yeah, yeah. So we, um, we, we want to do a, a reality series, a reality show. We want to bring it here to the UK, we want to talk to you about yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. And that'll definitely build up the hype. Yeah, so, I, think, I think the key, like I said, the key is to get into the market. Right, that's right. Start, start penetrating the market, and that comes through staying active. On big nights, Definitely. I think I think Scotland is the perfect place for you to start. I mean, it's a it's a nine thousand arena. We were in there last night for the darts. It's absolutely stunning place. They'll go mad for you up there. Mm -hmm. You know, May twenty eighth gives you plenty of time. That's right. You're going to go and see Jim McDonald now, I think, aren't you, Jim? Jim yeah, Mac? Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, I'll I'll have a think at some figures. Mm -hmm. We'll have a meet up next week. Yeah, okay. I'll put a proposal together. Yes. And then let's see what I think. We'll jig it around. See, I, I don't know you inside out yet. You know, you might say, no, no, don't worry. You know, I might come and say, right, May the 28th, June the 25th, you know, blah, blah, blah. You might say, well, rather, yeah. you know, more or less, or, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah. But, but we can tell you. We're it, right? negotiating and everything. Yeah, yeah. I mean, everybody got a, a something to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And when it's finished, you'll be done. That's oh, close. Yeah, yeah. I, think, I think the key, the key for us is, is that. The short term stuff, yeah, I'm sure we'll have a bit of arm twisted, mm -hmm. but it's to build to the to the coup de gras, right? You know, so we know how to create the numbers. Yeah, exactly. you got to create yeah. the numbers. But you'll do that quite easily. All you need is a platform. That's right. That's so it right. doesn't matter whether you've got all the hype in the world or you're a great salesman, great personality. If you haven't got the platform, yeah. Listen, when people know. told us to go to Buckingham Palace and we yeah. talked about that, they thought it was a joke. <laughs> we went there because we know we can make some money. Yeah. Right. <laughs> guess what? Yeah. This is things that happen. I know you. You already a promoter's guy. Took something and made something of it. Mm. You know, like I said, if you're natural, you're natural. Mm. Right. And if you got money to go with it, you can make it. If you got the product. Yeah, nice. No, it's it's a win, win, win. Well, listen, like I said before, hype and perception. That's right. But if you don't have the product, that's right. You can only get yourself. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. About. Yes. Because I can talk all the bullshit in the world. When the bell goes, if it ain't good enough. Hey, hey, what, yeah. what, what we started at? From from British to America. Now America back to British. Yeah, yeah. So hey, <laughs> this is a good concept, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah sure. It's sure. always great. Great Britain and America, always great. Yeah. A great yeah. hit. Yeah, yeah. The flags go up. I was quite surprised by that lady though. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. We <laughs> like that. We like that. Yes. Oh, no, yeah. like, You're in my country now. Like, yeah. Yeah. I, was that, I was actually embarrassed to be British. Yeah, yeah. You know. She's the only one willing to fight. Oh, yeah, 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 that's right. Actually, yeah, we didn't get a number. Maybe we could use her in Scotland. That's what I'm saying. That's right. Yeah, man. Scotland. I can't. I like that, Scotland. Yeah. Mm. It has been a pleasure, man. Talk yeah, to and you, you, and you, you guys, yeah, your sure. I'll put some stuff and together. And we see some okay. good, uh, good opportunities here. Yeah, yeah, we yeah. want to get a photo in your backyard. Yeah, 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 Let's do it, Chad. Yeah. This is an exclusive. A whole is, I, told, I thought you, I thought you turned it off. <laughs> <laughs> you got, you just got me in full salesman mode. <laughs> <laughs> All right. No, yeah. The high level security. <laughs> I thought you would have known that, Shannon. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And actually, the fighter line, we've got, we've got all the land as well, so the fighters would go down here, right round the trail, it's like six miles. Wow. Total do all their run. Oh yeah? Yeah, Chris Eubank trained here for the Nigel Ben fight. Yes, man. The officers have people with Essex dress, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Skinny jeans yeah. and yeah. Yeah. I'll, I'll, well, I can bust that up as well. Let's go to the next one. You've got to get him on towie. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. What's that? Well, you it's might. They said you might be getting sugar up tonight. That would be an, that would be an experience for you. Yeah. Why don't you get someone down there? We'll all stand here. Okay. Yeah? Yeah, we stand here. And then you get a photo from the bottom. Let me get one of me and Eddie first, and then I'm gonna get it.
Let me take one with you guys. Take one. Take one. Just give me. Come on, guys. The team, yep. Yeah. Jumping on the back. Oh, got a little bit of smoke coming. I'm not going to say it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Hey, I, mean, I get a video. Hold on, Eddie. Don't go nowhere. All right. All right, guys, watch out for a second. I get a video with Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you going to start at? Dude, come up. Yeah, yeah. in your video you just done was that is that there's a sensible side. Do you know what I mean? Everyone will be thinking, what's happened to Shannon? <laughs> <laughs> this is what downtown is this? This is town. That's London. That's London. Well, you can see from here, yeah. Canary wow. Wharf, that's the city. Of London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Wow. Yeah. On a good clear day you can see everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's the tent. Shannon the Cannon in London, England. And guess who I'm with? Eddie Hearns. Let's go champ! Let's go champ! Let's go champ! It's the champ himself, Eddie Hearns, and I'm here with him. Let's go champ, tell it to do me a favor. I've got, I've got one thing go ahead, I champ. must say first Please, before, champ. We, before we get into it. Let's go! Ah! Let's go champ! <laughs> <laughs> Let's go champ! Yeah, it's the champ, Sandy Cannon, and I'm out here with Eddie Hearns. Let's go champ! Let's go champ! Let's go champ! Let's go, champ. The thrill <laughs> begin, baby. The thrill begin. Thank you, champ. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, man. They're going to love it. They're going to love it. They're going to go crazy. I wonder what he was doing for so long, preparing himself. He was like shadow boxing everything. You know what I mean? Okay, like, you ready? You ready? Right! <laughs> yeah. Yeah, cool, good, good looking out, champ. You put it together. Let's nice go, one. champ. No problem, Let's no problem. Go, We're off to so Jimmy yeah, next, Jim. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. See that James again. All on. right, and we'll uh, we'll have a chat and put some things together. You got the numbers you might contacts, see it, yeah. right? Yeah, you might you see the contact numbers game. on us? Yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right, thanks, cool. man. It was a pleasure. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, champ.